That's one tactic is the visualization, which you can sit there. It doesn't have to be through meditation. Um, you can do breathing techniques. You can do affirmations. Like you said, affirmations on the mirror, you can write those out. And the thing is, you can't just sit there and, and read them and not feel them. You have to feel them first off, and you have to get that into your nervous system, okay? And this might sound a little crazy as well, but it's what I do. Like I would do push-ups and like recite affirmations in my head or say them out loud, or you mm -hmm. can do such, like Tony Robbins would walk. Because when you do that, it gets into your nervous system. Your nervous system is attached to your brain. Your brain's attached to your spinal cord. And your spinal cord and your brain and your nervous system, basically your reality that you're experiencing right now, it takes us in the five senses and it puts perceptions on it. So what I'm trying to say is once you get into your nervous system, you can change, you can change your reality in that sense, internal first, and then you'll start taking those actions because it's a part of your brain called the reticular activating system. It's like the like Tony Robbins says when you see when you buy like a Honda and then all of a sudden you a 2013 Honda, and then all of a sudden you notice all the Hondas driving by. You're gonna start to your brain's gonna start to pick up like ideas, thoughts, and things to help you get to that reality that you want. And then if you take action on that those ideas, you'll end up living that dream life that you always wanted. But that it's a lot of work. You have to get through that barrier. You have to work on your self image, and it's something I'm big on momentum. And a lot of people say, oh, momentum doesn't last. Yeah, sure, it doesn't last, but yeah, you need momentum to start, mm -hmm. and then you can go from there. But the thing is, you have to keep this up. This is like what I do. I'm I'm basically going to do this for the rest of my life. Right, and, it's a lifestyle. And when I stop, I could go back to drinking. And people don't understand that. Like, you have to be committed, and you have to be disciplined, and you have to. The reason I do all this is because my why is bigger than me. You know, the reason I do it, the reason I get up in the morning, my purpose. Your purpose is always changing, but you have to have a why. You have to have goals. You have to have that all set. I think three, uh, less than 10% of people write down the goals, and I believe in writing it down, and, and then 3% act on it.